What's going on everybody, NASCAR Josh 5 here and I am back with my second diecast review today and it's on another truck. I thought why not do another truck here. This is on Ben Rhodes 2018 Kentucky Race Win. Of course Ben Rhodes is from Kentucky so that's pretty cool stuff. Before we look at the truck we'll take that out for just a moment and let us take a look at the card. Here is the card. Pretty cool little card that you get with it. Shows, hope you guys and gals can see that. My camera is not great on my iPod, so just bear with me here. There you go. Now you can see some light there. Lighting's not the best in my room. Um, but here is the card. We have Ben Rhodes, Kentucky Speedway. Buckle up in your truck. 225 winner. Started Kentucky in July. On July 12th, 2018. There's a picture of Ben Rhodes. Thor Sport Racing. And here is the back. Of course, Thor Sport is the team that owns this truck, of course. If you all know that who watched the truck series. Here is some info about info about the race. We have the date, which was like I said, July 12th, 2018. The time of race was 1 hour 32 minutes. The start position that Ben Road started from was third, so he only had to pass two trucks. That's not too shabby, I would say. Uh the total laps was 150. Out of 225, what does that mean? Does that mean he led that many laps, or? I'm not quite getting that stat. It might just be me. I'm a little slow. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have number of cautions, 3 for 14 laps. Laps led by the winner, 36. Okay, that's why. He led 30, or 38, I'm sorry. 38 laps he led. The margin of victory was 0. 922 seconds, so that's why the total laps said that. He led he led 38 laps, I think. I don't know. Explain in the comments below if you think I'm crazy. <laughs> uh, the driver career wins. This was his second career truck series win. Of course, his first one came at Las Vegas in the fall of 2017. Uh, so there's the card. Pretty cool. But you all don't want to see the card. You want to see the die cast. So here it is. Try to adjust that for you all. But here it is. His Carolina Nut. Number 41 Ford F-150. There's a view of it before I get my hands in the way. Here it is. Here is the left side. Let's, let's start like we did in the Kyle Busch review. Let's start at the front. Not as many race markings, but it's still cool. Has a little bit here. We have Ford F-150, we have number 41, we have the contingencies on the front, pretty much they're all the same. We got Moog, uh, that one's a little hard to see, uh, but on the hood, we have Ford, the Carolina Nut Company, I guess is what that is. Uh, yeah, there's the headlights, we got the F-150 logo, let's take a look at the left, I have number 41. We have race truck, the Camping World Truck Series decal this time because it's 2018. Of course, they switched to Gander Outdoor this year, as you all know. We have Mechanics Wear, Eldebrock, RCS, Simpson, Duralast GT, all the contingencies. We have um, Ben Rhodes' name up there. We have Thor Sport logo, built for it tough. I can't see those other two. I have really bad vision, just keep in mind, I have, was born that way. Um, but we have number 41 on the roof. Nothing on the tailgate here, unlike the Kyle Busch car. I may not have mentioned that, or the Kyle Busch truck, I should say. He had a couple of contingencies there. Carolina Nut on the side. I'm getting, new to, I'm getting used to these reviews, so bear with me, guys and gals. I'm getting there. <laughs> we have, I forgot to mention on the Kyle Busch truck, of course, the American Ethanol logo, which... I guess that's not a big deal. A couple of contingencies down here. We have Wix filters. Can't quite see the other two. We have Ride TV on the left quarter panel down here. On the back, we have Carolina Nut. We have number 41, the Ford logo, and a little, looks like a little mark right there. That could be a race win there, there on the back. And then there's no banners, no name rails on the back because this is a, a NASCAR Authentics die cast from Walmart of course there is Ford F-150 
I do apologize again if I have I haven't already for the lighting. I'm in my room here, so it's not the greatest, but this diecast is very nice. I really like it. I was very excited when I found it because trucks are very, very hard to find. I'm sure you all know who have been trying to find these trucks. But I really like this truck and it's very nice. Oh, about dropped it. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that they're. I've, I've said yeah about a hundred times. Just keep in mind I have a habit of saying that for some reason. I have a habit of repeating myself. But um, I'm really glad they're making these trucks now, like I've said already. They're very nice. Of course, Lionel's had some quality control. I've seen some other reviews that they've pointed it out um, about the scuffs and, and paint marks and all that that Lionel have, have had trouble with, but hopefully they can get their act together. And This one is nice. Of course, the decals aren't too crooked or anything. This one's a very nice truck, as well as the Kyle Busch truck that I reviewed. And if you guys and gals want to see some more diecast review, click that. Actually, don't just click it. Press and smash that like button, as Real Radman says on his videos, at least in the description. But, uh, yeah, just smash that like button, comment, like, and subscribe for my cringy videos. I will get better as I get along here. But this is NASCAR Josh 05. Let's get the card in here. This is NASCAR Josh 05 signing out once again with another diecast review. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a good day.